Hi, welcome back to the next video of Exploring Excel. That is video number 80. Auto populate second combo box. So let's get started. Okay. Now in this video, I'm going to show you if I open a user form something like this and if I select the product category name C and then I'll automatically get the values like 90, 100, 110, 120. If I change another product to A and then I'll get in value what all A field associates. So how to do it? And this range is an obviously an expandable range when you click here and you write A and I want 210 here and when you open a user form and select A you will get all the details including 210. So how to do that? So let's get started. First thing, create a table like this product and your description. This unique. Unique, you have to enter automatically. If you pro add a product like D, E, or if you want to have a F product, F product. So you will write. But first, I have created the name range. Go into the name manager and I have created product all. If you want to learn how this dynamic ranges are created, watch my previous video tutorial. First thing, this is a unique one. When I select this, it is grabbing all the unique values. Then, product all means from all this range, I am just selecting like this. This is product all. Means how much products are there in this range. And, and there is also one more thing known as expand. That means the whole table of the range which we need. Okay? So that's a simple thing. And a basic starter of everything. Then go to the developer tab and creating a something user form like this. You can create it very simply. This is something like uh, labels, combo boxes, click and drag here like this. No need of any property and just resize the user form. Change some back color if you need any like this. Make this all transparent to look it more better, opaque. You can make it as a transparent. And now these are the two combo boxes. Now basically first thing I need to run a sort and filter macro. So I have first only recorded the sort and filter macro. Basically you can go here, select a data, click on home tab, go here sort and filter, add filter, oops control Z. You can select this whole data, you can go sort and filter, add a filter, then you can sort, sort A to Z or Z to A and then remove those filter. Remove those filter. The same way I've done, like recording a macro, but little bit editing. First thing, it selects the header. It will explain you a very neatly. First thing, our header is range. I will just minimize a bit here so that it is very easy to see. Our header, oops, our header here is range A1 to B1. It selects that. Then it creates the previously sorted fields, if any left. Like active workbook doc sheets, this is sheet one. Then sort dot sort fields dot clear means all the fields are cleared here. Then it adds a new sort field that is active workbook dot sheets. You can just see this code. Active workbook dot sheets one dot sort dot sort field dot add. Means it's adding a sort field here, and the range from starting range is A one. And sort on values, order is ascending and data is normal. Then with an active window, it is doing, oops, active worksheet dot sheet one dot sort. But now set range, I have just changed it to expand, which was a basically A1, A2, so A22, which has changed to expand. And my expand is the whole range here. Header, no, means I have just selected this much only area here, not the whole one for sorting. Then all other things, that is all recorded macro stuff, if you want, you can omit that. So this was the basic macro which I have used. Then, going here, in the user form, the first user form when you change, it runs the sort and filter option. That, that will enable you to again sort and filter if you forgot to put press this button, that is sort and filter. If you add any items here, like A and then you want 300 sort it will automatically sort something like this then it clears the combo box 2.12 well. 
Now this is a very interesting decision to take. Now you can see when I run this user form and select the value B and this all. So if I select 60 but I have changed my mind to take C. So how can C have a 60 value that's why I have appointed to clear the combo box to dot value. Next thing it loops through all items in the range of the combo box to value for each cell in the range product all. Now what does this product all means is that this much range which I have named when pressing Control F3 to go in the name manager and the name was product all and this is the whole range and it creates an offset of the same I go into the visual basic editor if the cell contains the combo box one dot value then I want the combo box two dot add item and then cell dot offset of zero comma one the row offset and the column offset I need a column offset else end if and the next cell it will loop up till all the items are cleared means it will go up till cell number 23 now but it will not go up into last cell that's a bit usefulness of of this macro that is looping procedure now let's run it again and select any items like this and you will get it or this was a very very complex question basically you want to select anything and there are many many solutions developed by everybody but this is a basic and a easy to understand the solution and this is a very expanding solution right n number of data here it will automatically get sorted when you open a user form and then this is known as a cascading combo boxes to add item in other combo boxes now this is very very useful when you are creating an like income expense manager before thing i was first using more to coding that time I use something different technique just I want to discuss regarding that if there were only two like income and expense so if I select income I want this combo box to hide and the other in combo box to visible but in this technique it does not work for all these five items because there are many and still adding items and basically I two things I forgot to tell you is that I just use a name here to row source you can go here here down here as you can see the row source is unique here and for here same the row source is unique for here there is no row source because you can find it out that it automatically add an item by looping this procedure so hope you find this video and thanks for watching and have a great and pleasant day ahead have a great day